Hello, my name is Steve, and today I'm going to go through a video demonstration of Adobe Sign for Microsoft SharePoint. Adobe has a strategic partnership with Microsoft, and Adobe Sign is Microsoft's electronic signature platform of choice. I'm going to show you how you're able to send a document for signature directly with inside of a library inside of Microsoft SharePoint. I'm going to go through and show you how you would sign that agreement. And then finally, I'll show you what happens to your signed documents once they come back into Microsoft SharePoint. Today's demonstration is designed to be just a high level overview of Adobe Sign for Microsoft SharePoint. And if you did require more of a technical deep dive on the subject, perhaps setting up the integration and choosing where your signed documents go, please do seek out some of the other videos I've created on that subject. But for today, we're just going to keep it very simple. So with that, let's now get started. So here I am inside of a Microsoft SharePoint site. And you can see Adobe Sign for SharePoint has been installed. And up in the ribbon here, we get the option to send for signature. And of course, we can manage our agreements that are currently already out for signature from here as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a library here. Uh, I've got a, a folder called Documents. And again, we get the option for Adobe Sign appearing here at the top. But what we're able to do is check the box next to a document. Let's pick this uh, Microsoft Word document here, for example. And if we hit the overflow menu, we get the option to send for signature directly from that one file. So if we check the box and make sure we choose send for signature, what will happen is a draft agreement will be created. And we can now start entering in our recipients. I'm going to send this to Jane Taylor, my demo accountant. I have access to her email address. And I'm going to go through and sign that agreement in just a second. So uh, our document is pre-attached, and that's great. What we can do is press Send, and our document is immediately sent out for signature. So our document has now been sent for signature, and it was as simple as that. We're able to close our browser window and get on with our day. Let's now jump over and see what our recipient will see inside of their inbox. And you can see Jane has an email from me. So let's open that up. And what we've got here is clicking on our blue link. We're taken straight through to signing. So with Adobe Sign, we don't force anyone to sign up for an account. Jane here did not have to enter in any usernames nor passwords. And if Jane had never heard of Adobe Sign before, that's not a problem. And she will always be taken straight through to this signing screen here. And if you've not seen it before, this will look largely the same if you're maybe on a mobile device, if you're using our app for Android or iOS, perhaps. If you're in the back of a taxi giving approval on a document, for example, this screen will look very similar, where you get a nice yellow tick here that will guide you through our agreement. Jane here has two required fields. And scrolling down, one of which is to enter in a PO number that we've got here. So if we enter in some data here, what we could have happen using Adobe Sign for SharePoint. So we can take that data and merge it back into SharePoint if we needed to. So that could perhaps form uh, one of the columns inside of a, a, an attribute on a file, perhaps. And we're even able to take data the other way and map it onto an agreement. So you can see we've got spaces at the top here where if we had a client's name and contact details, for example, there's no reason at all why these couldn't be merged onto our agreement as well. And these can all come from columns with inside of SharePoint. Scrolling down, two more required fields. We need to enter in Jane's title, and she works in IT. And of course, Jane needs to sign our agreement. So she pops a click in the box and is able to do so. The four options present themselves, and the first of which is that Jane could type her name using the keyboard. She could draw her signature using a mouse or a trackpad here. So I'm just going to do that now. It's J and T. The third of which is to upload an image, maybe, to represent her signature. That could be a photograph of a wet ink signature on a piece of paper and use that to represent her signature. And finally, she can send an SMS to a mobile device. She can take that device, turn it sideways, sign using her finger, 
and that signature will come straight back to this laptop so that we're able to continue. What I'm going to do is type Jane's name and we can press apply. So if Jane did not want to sign her agreement, perhaps maybe there was a mistake and she wasn't able to give sign off on this, on this occasion, she can drop down alternative actions and can choose I will not e-sign. She'll of course have to enter in a reason for declining and click on the blue button and this will of course cancel our transaction, but we will get an email notifying us. However, Jane is happy to sign her agreement. She has the black bar along the bottom and can click her blue button now in order to get that submitted. So our agreement has now been signed. Let's jump back into SharePoint and see where that signed document will now live. Here I am back inside of SharePoint and the signed documents I have chosen to go into a folder inside of SharePoint. So I have created a folder called signed documents. And if I open that up and sort by the date they were modified, sure enough at the top of the list here is the Adobe Sign signed agreement that we just signed a few seconds ago and underneath that is the audit report and that is given to us as a separate PDF. Now we can have that audit report combined together as a single document if you would prefer that or we can even have them completely separate as we see here and the assigned PDFs can go into one folder and the audit reports can go elsewhere if that is required. That was Adobe Sign for Microsoft SharePoint. And I'll hope you agree it's a very easy to use interface there where we're able to send a document for signature directly from within inside of a document library inside of SharePoint. I showed you how easy it was to go through and sign that. And finally, we showed how the audit report and the document all lives together inside of a folder in your SharePoint environment. I would urge people now to seek out a 14 day free trial and try Adobe Sign out for yourself inside of Microsoft SharePoint and see just how much value you're able to gain from implementing electronic signatures with Adobe Sign. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.